tuba. It definitely does. I'm sh I'm <laughs> sure that must do. You know. Okay, right. Floordrobe is now in the. In the dictionary. Yeah. Yeah. Insta story is probably one of them too. It's all bizarre. This world we're living in. <laughs> But I wonder what happens if Insta Story, if it is in the dictionary and Instagram yeah. goes bust, exactly. what, so happens what happens to the word Insta Story? Exactly. Or what happens to people who just are called influencers and live by Instagram and then if Instagram disappears, what happens to them? There'll always be social media. I think so. We love to be connected, us millennials. Mm. Millennials, us. I'm glad you think I'm a millennial. I really look like I'm 50. <laughs> Great to see you and talk about Lovely the film. Lovely to see you. Uh, obviously, you know, we can say you're Spider-Man. Yeah. We can say you're in it. I you think can't so. say much more. Oh, no, can I? I <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are on the billboard. <laughs> and you have played him before, so I guess, yes. you know, we can safely say that few. I am Spider-Man. Uh, what else can we say? Uh, that's probably about it. Lovely interview. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. No, uh, what can I say? I mean, wow, as films go, this is like nothing before yes. you know no film has ever been done like this it's probably the biggest film of all time um and to be a part of it is a huge honor true and peter parker anyway when he started in the mcu was extremely excited to meet the likes of of, of iron man tony stark mm -hmm. etc uh, was it the same for you in this one because i mean i don't know who you met that yeah. you hadn't but is it the kind of pinch me uh set where you know you just don't know where to look it definitely is it definitely is in regards to my character and how he's grown up you know He's definitely excited to meet Tony Stark the first time, but I was excited to meet Robert every time I've ever mm -hmm. met him, you know? So I always try to keep a little bit of that in Peter Parker. I just got a bit cheekier with Robert. I used to, I take the mick out of him quite a lot. Um, so uh, so Peter Parker is now taking the mick out of Iron Man a little bit. No, absolutely, because you know, it, it, is, it is quite self-deprecating anyway. And, yeah. uh, and I was asking the Russo brothers if they allowed you to improvise and they said that they welcomed it. Yeah. So how amazing is it to be able to do that, you know, to give your own tongue-in-cheekness to what the character is supposed to go through? I often find with improvising that you do 10 different things, nine of them are rubbish, mm. one of them is okay. But that one that's okay could become something that's really great. And what the Russo brothers have is great instincts and they also mm. have great writers. So together they take that okay take, they mix it up in their little creative minds and then they bring it back and have something brilliant. And then we work off that. You know, so it's really like every morning we come in with a blank canvas and we leave later with a Russo masterpiece. So uh, it's, really, um, it's really a lot of fun to work with them. Absolutely. Uh, before you were involved at all in, in the MCU and mm -hmm. Spider-Man, were you a fan of the Marvel Cinematic Universe? How much were you in tune with the Avengers when it first came out? I was a huge fan, you know. Mm. From Iron Man 1, um, I was a big fan. And then remember seeing Avengers 1 for the first time, and that changed my life. You know, it's I'm, eye candy, it, isn't oh, it? It's <laughs> just it's so fantastic. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, to myself an Avenger now is pretty, pretty <laughs> crazy. <laughs> yeah, it is. Besides your character, I mean, everybody wants to be Spider-Man, everyone mm. wants to be Iron Man, but if you weren't, uh, who would you want to be? I don't want to be Spider-Man. I have the best superhero, I think. I don't want to change. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, you have the best one. And if, if I remember from our interview for Spider-Man Homecoming, you, you did grow up loving Spider-Man. So it was a childhood yeah. dream of yours, mm. wasn't it? Oh, yeah, absolutely. And are you still enjoying it the same way? Because now it's, you know, out in the universe and it's, it's become a job. It's not a job. It's a <laughs> hobby. It's a hobby where I get to hang out with some super cool people swing around from wires and have a great time. So it's not a job, it's a hobby. And it's, it's the coolest hobby you can have. How much do you get to do uh, your own stunts? How much physical shape do you have to be in? Uh, what's entitled, basically? Well, I am currently training for my next movie. Yeah. I've been actually really unwell this week, so I have lost a bit of weight. I haven't been going to the gym. Um, but, uh, but, yeah, no, I just have to go to the gym, put on a bit of muscle. Not like the big guys, you know, the three Chris's and all, and, and, and Chadwick. They're all in mega shape. Um, mm. but, uh, but, no, so I don't have to put that much weight on. I'm still the kid, you know. <laughs> and I've lost a bit of weight. I haven't been going to the gym. It's something you will never hear a girl ever say. <laughs> <laughs> some questions from fans that have oh, sent awesome. to you if you don't mind so le Cep would like to know if you can still enjoy your films the way a regular audience does or is it less exciting because you already know the whole story that's a good question actually um i loved watching spider-man homecoming i saw it maybe five times and i absolutely loved watching it even though i knew every in and out of that movie um but this is something so special for me because i haven't read the script 
I've avoided a lot of the trailers and I know so little about it. So I can really enjoy this film as a fan rather than uh, an actor in it. Because you truly don't know anything about it anyway. I have no idea. <laughs> All right, another question from uh, Tabia Koch. Would like to know uh, which acting colleague gave you the best acting advice? Uh, another good question. Um, it'll have to be Ardy. Actually, do you know what? Hemsworth gave me some pretty good advice. Mm -hmm. You know, he gave me some pretty good advice uh, when I was really young. Because we made a film together years and yes, years and years the heart ago of the about sea. work ethic and... and He's someone who works really, yeah. really hard, Chris. And uh, yeah, so he's a great guy to, to get advice from. It doesn't feel like too long ago in the heart of the sea, like maybe a couple of years ago or something. It, but feels, it feels like, like ages ago. about five years ago now. <laughs> yeah, may maybe less. I, yeah. I, I thought it was like a couple of years back. But yeah. isn't it funny that you guys find yourselves in I the know. cinematic universe? Crazy. <laughs> uh, Don Bernard would like to know how many stunts you did yourself in this film. Um, I did everything I was allowed to do. You know, sometimes with these stunts, they're too dangerous, and that's why the pros have to come in and do it. Yeah. Because um, we're just, you know, I can flip around and do all sorts of stuff, but the doubles they get in are so talented that I just can't do what they can do. Um, but I did everything I was allowed to do. Did a few backflips and, and a few crashes and stuff, and it was fun. It was really cool. Is there anything you find particularly hard to do? I mean, obviously, his whole mannerism and his whole body language is, is quite defined to Spider-Man. That was something I had to get used to. I mean, mm. as an actor, your most powerful weapon is your face. That's how you emote. That's how you, you express emotion, you yes. know? And then when you take that away, you have to do it through physicality. So for me, it was about finding a sort of childlike physicality that wasn't over the top, but was enough so that people could feel what I was going through. Uh, who in your family or around you is most excited about you being Spider-Man? Is there a bigger fan than you are? I'd say it has to be my brother Sam, actually, out of my brothers. Sam, during the process of auditioning for Civil War and then leading up to the release of Civil War, Sam was all over it. Sam had read every bit of fan fiction, every bit of, you know, everything. So he's a huge fan. And I actually surprised him to t take him to the LA premiere for Civil War. Um, but uh, yeah, so Sam is probably the biggest fan in the house. And finally, which uh, of you know which MCU film uh, have you watched that you were not part of? Which one is your favorite uh, of the ones you did not do? Um, Thor Ragnarok is my favorite because it's so funny, and I watched it in a cinema in New York, and the whole audience was cracking up like a real comedy, you know. And and I personally think a true comedy is that is harder than any other form of of. Uh, entertainment. I really think that though it's so difficult to get it right and Taika and his whole crew and then Chris and Tom, those guys really nailed it. And Tessa, I thought Tessa was brilliant in that film.